right, Kevin Durant, strong performance tonight, 32 points in the loss. Moments ago, he met with the media. Steve talked after the game about how, how really limited the practice time is that this group of guys has had together. Uh, do you feel like it's just going to uh, be a process of, of getting to know each other and becoming more familiar with each other because you have so many new faces? Yeah, I mean, it is one game out of 82 of them. I mean, when you put it in that, you know, look at it that way. I think every team feels that way. You know what I'm saying? I know the Bucks won today, but they're still trying to fine tune what they do too. You know, so I think every team in the league is going to look at their first few games, first few weeks, and see you know where their team is going, and then make adjustments. Um, but for us, I mean, tonight. <clears throat> They shot 19 more shots than us, and it was that way since the first quarter. So we was climbing up here all game. We had good spurts, cut it to seven, cut it to eight a few times, but we just couldn't get over the hump because they had more possessions than us. They created more offense for themselves with offensive rebounds. They had like five of them in one possession. Um, you know, we didn't turn them over. You know, I think they only had seven turnovers, and they had stuck on like three for a while, you know. We only had 12, which is good, too, you know, but they didn't turn the ball over and kept the ball in their hands. So possession game is the, is the battle for us, you know, with all the other stuff, rotations and rhythm and all that stuff will come. But we have to, we can't give a team 20 more shots than us. Imagine coming into a game and we say, here, take the ball 20 times on offense before we go, before we get an offensive possession. Everybody going to lose that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it felt like the game was today. Is that, I mean, I know you, you talked about that whatever, last week or whatever it was we were talking about, and I know it's been a point of emphasis throughout camp. I mean, how do you get to that point? And clearly it's been drilled down, obviously. Yeah, I mean, we just got to... You know, uh, you could have put a little bit more pressure on guys. You know, this is a little stuff. And, um, you know, getting back on defense, you know, they did a good job. I mean, they, they uh, 100 field goals. Um, you know, they were killing us on the board, boards early, but we cut that. We, we kind of shortened that gap, you know, but the possession battle, I think we just got to put our heads down, get the 50-50 balls, be a little bit more aggressive. Kevin, how big was Patty for you guys, especially given that spark off the bench and him coming in when you guys started to make that run in the second? Yeah, we don't need that from Patty. I mean, we talked the other day, it was about being, him being aggressive to be a scorer, to be a playmaker, and tonight was no different. You know, he came out and gave us great energy to start. We don't need that from him. We don't need him to run around and create offense. And, make plays for others and knock down the shot. So, you know, everybody's going to get more comfortable as time goes. What did you see from, from James tonight? It was, I mean, first action it was real action. I mean, because the playoffs, he was hobbling. So it was a while since he'd been on the court feeling like himself again. So it was good. Well, Marcus, too, you know, it was good to see them out there. And I think everybody's rhythm going to get better as time goes on and we get more comfortable around each other. And, you know, so I'm, I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to the next, you know, the next game and see how we, we, we build off of this and get better from this. In, in James's case, is that a matter of, you know, getting rhythm with what you guys are doing? Is that a matter of physically getting back up to speed? To I think we all really would be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we all need to get physically back up to shape. I mean, we haven't played in NBA games and meaningful NBA games in a minute. So I think all of us are trying to. I keep saying it, but find our rhythm and find out um, the best way for us individually to be effective out there. And um, we got a lot of talent. Sometimes you don't want to step on toes. You don't want to do too much. And so guys are trying to find that balance. And, um, you know, it can be frustrating in a game when things don't go your way, but you look at the big picture and start to understand that, um, Especially with, uh, after every loss, guys hate losing. So we're going to try to make adjustments and be better from this and see how we can move forward. So that's one great thing about our group is guys got a lot of pride and they want to win. Was there ever a point in your earlier in your career where the first game felt bigger than it was and like a loss like this would have, you know, sent you spinning for a night or two? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I think every game since I was watching, analyzing preseason games, you know, this year. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like we all want to reach perfection out there, and I know that's a – we'll never get to that point, but it's good to strive towards it. And uh, everybody is, you know, analyzing themselves and analyzing their games. And I'm sure, um, you know, a few possessions guys look back on tonight and want to have those back. You know, it's just the nature of the game, nature of competitiveness. But – Early on in my career, I think, you know, every game felt like a you know, playoff type game to me. So, yeah.